Okay, uh, just on top of the our 205 here, uh, just gonna show you what happens when I move the stabilizer bar. <clears throat> so, um, yeah, as you can tell, um, this is just me moving the stabilizer bar. Now, if you noticed, the blades actually slightly feather, okay? So, if I go, depends which way I'm moving the stab bar, but um, if you take a look at this pitch link right here, which is connected to the main rotor grip, all right, you'll notice that is actually moving when I move the stabilizer bar. So if you can picture um, this aircraft being disturbed um, by a wind force and this stabilizer bar maintaining the same plane of rotation, okay, um, the the helicopter will want to move we'll just say we'll say there's a disturbance and it's pushing the the helicopter to um uh the left <clears throat> the fuselage will want to move to the left and it, it slightly will but this stab bar uh will not it'll stay in the same plane of rotation okay so when that happens um I'm just demonstrating how the blades move by moving this stab bar, but uh, you can just picture this airframe moving off to the, the left and this stab bar staying in the same plane of rotation. That would cause the blades to um, pitch uh, momentarily, okay? Bringing that aircraft back to, to where it was in the original position, okay? Now, that's, that's with the disturbance. Now, if the pilot needs to make a movement, um, <clears throat> In a, in a certain direction, you'll notice that you have an exact, you have linkage connected straight to your main rotor blades. So you always have control of the over the rotor blades, no matter what's happening uh, with the stab bar, okay? So whenever the stab bar is gonna be moving, um, the blades will feather a little bit, but if you need direct control, that's coming straight from this pitch rod, <clears throat> to this kind of mixer mixer kind of unit here okay and then this mixer type of unit is connected to this stab bar okay so just to give you an idea of how this actually moves okay and then don't forget the damper all right timing rate is critical we don't want our damper moving too um, quickly or too slowly okay so that's why there's always a gonna be a bit of a, a timing check done with that. All right.